Here lies the first technically new character releases for cars on the road by any brand, Mattel, Disney Store, Tomica. And by the way, side note real quick, is the Disney Store even going to make cars on the road products? Because usually they release their new stuff before Mattel or Tomica. And yet we've already seen Mattel release stuff and Tomica has already put pictures online of the stuff they intend to release. So I don't even know what's going on with them, but they've really fallen off a cliff over the last few years. Anyways, behold, color changers, Revo Koss, and Dats. Jammin. I love the names. Very interesting, very unique. They're both from the Salt Flat scene or the episode from Cars on the Road. And yeah, guys, I don't know, for whatever reason, the only new Cars on the Road products that have been out from Mattel so far, for the most part, are color changer stuff. You know, I did the reviews on the Sprayer Pity two pack things. And yeah, I guess you can count maybe. Sarah Coggs here, and this Yellow Pity as the first technically new characters released for On the Road. Oh my god, there's still water in the tank that I just sprayed myself with. But, I mean, come on. Those two packs didn't even say their names on it. It was all about the Mater, McQueen, or Cruz that were in the sets. And then I did the whole whale review. And so here we are now with some new characters. So we're slowly inching our way to the really exciting stuff, which will be the you know new die cast and deluxes, the big dinosaur that they're doing, mini racers, you know, we're slowly getting there. And yeah, they are going to be doing diecast versions of both of these characters. We saw the diecast version of Dats at the San Diego Comic-Con panel they did, four cars on the road. This one we did not, but don't worry, he will be coming. So yeah, lots of exciting stuff in the works. And I do wanna mention that the first three cars on the road diecast were found in Australia as they are included in case K of 2022 singles along with a bunch of other just regular stuff like the new release of Colin Rev. and I think also in that case is, oh man, how am I blanking now and who else is in that case? Like, oh yeah, flipped over and George Newman. So yeah, they're integrating cars on the road with the regular mainline. I'm talking too much. We're going to get into the review here. These are showing up at Walmart stores across the United States. And they were already spotted at Smith stores in the United Kingdom. So yeah, they are making their rounds, which is great. I'm glad a lot of people are going to be able to get these because they are some really cool color changers. So of course you have the cars on the Rogo. On the Rogo. I love that. I'm going to say that. The cars on the Rogo in the top left hand corner there. The nice art for Revo. Now his main color is what you're looking at there. The purple. Yeah, that is not how he's going to look in the series. Now in the top right hand corner here, of course, Color Changers logo and the background is slightly different than the background that they've used on previous Color Changer singles. And I will show you guys the difference in several moments here, but we're just going to focus on, you know, Revo and Dats for what they are at the moment. Two in one, obviously that's all the same. The back of the blister here has the map, which all cars on the road products will feature. Behind the blister, whether it be a playset, two pack, single, whatever it is, you will see like this map back here that indicates it is a Cars on the Road product. If the logo or the Rogo wasn't enough, right? I guess it's more of just like a special thing, kind of a theme for all the packages. Now on the back here, you do have the stock images for the color changers. You know, one in his purplish pink and the other one in the light blue. The cold color is going to be your purplish pink, and then the warm color is going to be the lighter one. The back of this package looks pretty much the same as a typical color changer, but an astute eye may notice something interesting, and that is they put a label sticker over something. You can see this is a sticker. I can feel it coming off. You could hear it. You can even hear it. And so we're going to find out what are they trying to hide? What did they screw up on? What did they botch? Dots has it too, so we're going to find out together. And oh yeah, by the way, I can also see a label on the name tag itself. Why? Because look, the corner jumps up onto this logo there. So what are they trying to hide? They've done this before with a few things, but usually it's like when they want to block out something that they canceled. Back in 2017, they blocked out, I think it was Richard Clayton Kensington with Manny Flywheel. So that was quite interesting. 
because this costs probably quite a bit to you know put a label over something they already printed. I mean, to you know have everything go back through the line. Oh wow, that's actually super revealing. Oh, so it looks like his original name was Classic Rod and they just forgot to put his actual name on it. Wow, that's actually really cool, guys. Wow. So Mattel might have even accounted for this. Now we're going to get into some lore here. This is why it's not made for kids because we're going to get into some interesting discussion here. So Cars on the Road being developed, you know, probably a rather short turnaround on the series considering it's, you know, a Disney Plus show and a full-blown movie. So Pixar and Disney sending all the stuff to Mattel like here. Here's some new characters. Here's some stuff you could release. We are not sure of the name of this guy yet, so just call him Classic Rock. Now Mattel is like, we need to get this stuff ready to be released in August because the show's coming out in September. Now Pixar, they're being lazy as heck right now. They're not telling us this guy's name and we need to get this product out because we want to sell stuff, right? They're like, all right, we need to make a decision here. We're just going to put on the package classic rot. Now, if, you know, something nasty hits the fan, you know, if it comes to that, we'll just put out classic rod and it'll be, the fans will hate us for it, but they'll still buy it, right? But if Pixar lets us know the name of this guy beforehand, then we'll be able to put a label on it. It will be a little annoying, but we'll avoid some scrutiny from the fans, right? So that's probably what happened here. They just didn't know the name of this character in time to produce them all that way. And so that's why they just did it like this at first and then put the labels over it. Another theory could be that they just simply screwed up and they put the code name, quote unquote, the developmental name on the packages without putting his real name. That's also a possibility. You guys let me know what you think in the comment section below. Color change will last longer if you do not expose the soil to intense heat or direct sunlight for prolonged periods of time. That is true. That is why a lot of old color changers don't work. All right, so anyway, we're going to move on to Dats Jam. I want to say Dots, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be Dats, like that. Now, his artwork's pretty cool here. He turns from this kind of Zamac silver gray to blue. The color he will be in the show will be the Zamac silver color. Again, like I said, Dats has the same labels in the same spots. And we'll peel off his as well to see what's going on. Now the stock images for him look pretty interesting. These are not going to be the same stock images they use for the die cast. However, they might look similar, but they will be different. So yeah, there you have it. Silver to blue, pretty drastic color changes there. Let's peel off this label. This is a bigger label. Look how much taller this label was than that one. Look at that. Interesting, which means that this code developmental name is probably longer. Yep, I think it's going to be special construction. So I've seen that somewhere and I was wondering, what does that mean? Why is this guy called special construction? Oh man, we're really gonna have a tough time with this label, aren't we? Come on, let's have a blast. <laughs> I can't believe no one's noticed this yet. Yep, it appears so special construction because it was such a long name with equally long translations. They needed the bigger label special construction, especial construction, or I should say construction especial. Come on, let me. Oh my goodness. Let me see that English translation here. There it is. Bam, look at all those. Oh God, that's ugly. I don't know why they call this guy special construction. I mean, obviously we haven't seen the show or anything yet, but he's like a typical, you know, salt flats, speed demon, kind of land speeder type racer, drag racer, if you will, has nothing to do with construction. So hmm. Maybe we'll find out on the show. Maybe we won't. But anyways, guys, I'll be right back with both of these guys all opened up. Now 
I promise to compare a regular color changer card back to the new on the road one. So you can see the logos are obviously different. In addition to the background, the backdrop here of the desert definitely looks a lot more mountainous over here. Now, at first glance, it's like, come on, Disney docket, maybe it's just sizing, scaling, you know, they're the exact same. Like, come on, stop brewing over this, get to the reviews. But seriously, though, they are indeed different. You can see like all those little dots, like all those little mini bushes or whatever those are, not present there. These tumbleweeds or whatever, they look bushier than these tumbleweeds. Like they really do. Look over here. You got like a little nubbin of whatever mountain that is, but you got the whole shebang over here. You got like the whole plateau. So very strange. I don't know why they resized it that way, but that is the new color changer back set or however you want to call it. It's unknown if all of them going forward will be like this or only the on the road ones, but I don't think we'll have the answer for a good while because it appears that almost all, if not actually all of the new color changers they release will be from on the road. And it's not like they'll, you know, pop in a, I don't know, color changers text Dynaco anytime soon. All right, guys, let's get on the table with some tubs. Here are the boys out of the package looking really good. I have to admit, I am way more excited to be reviewing these guys than I thought I would. I was like, ah, color changers. I really wish I had the die cast, but it is a great feeling to have new model characters in hand, just talking about new characters, how they'll play into the story and everything. It just kind of brings a fresh energy to the channel that we haven't had in quite some time since Cars 3 came out because, you know, reviewing all those diecasts before the movie came out, I was like, yeah, I don't know how this is going to play into the film, blah, blah, blah. And now we're doing kind of a similar thing, even though these ones are just way more unique. I mean, I never thought we'd get a car or character that looks like this. And that is just awesome. Super badass. And yeah, before we get into it, though, I do want to show the tags and the labels on them as well because they also had, like I said, labels, stickers, essentially, covering something. They're hiding something here on the name tag. So I'm just gonna peel it a little bit because I do kinda wanna preserve this. You can see it's just going into the special construction, construction special, same exact thing there. And I would assume, wow, this is a, it's so weird that this label is so big. Like, look at that label. It's not even like four sided. It's a look at all those sides. <laughs> I don't know. Is it a hexagon? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think so. It's a hexagon. It's technically a hexagon. That's pretty cool, right? All right, let's peel it from this side though. That'd be easier. <laughs> so yeah, like I was saying, maybe they did screw up because this is a costly, costly thing to do. I mean, to print out all these labels. Yep. So it's going to be your classic rod rod classico and you can even kind of see through the label a little bit right there which is interesting they did match the color well they got the bubbles on it and everything it's pretty hard to see it took a very astute observation for me to see those because i don't think anyone's reported about that yet which is pretty wild i don't know maybe they're not on all the packages maybe only American packages, maybe only some of the American packages. I don't know. But anyways, this is the part where I'd usually show where they appear in the movie or now show. But I think I already used that joke. Ha 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 ha. Seriously though, it's kind of weird that they haven't appeared even in the trailer. Seeing as they appear to be rather prominent characters getting released among some of the first on the road merchandise. Now, I do believe Revo was spotted in that book I did a review on several days ago. I'll leave the link for that in the description below and card trash and pop up in the top right hand corner. Hopefully I remember that one because usually I only do those at the beginning of the video, which I watch. Usually I don't make it that far into the video while I'm editing. Okay. All right. So yeah. All right. We're going to start with Revo here because in my opinion, he is subpar to Dats. And that is because he is similar to cars we've seen in the past. Some of the classic rods from Doc's racing days, you know, the retro Piston Cup generation, like River Scott here, Floyd Morgan, Duke Coulters, and the other ones that are those types of models, which I think, yeah, we only have Caleb Worley, Duke Coulters, and Floyd Morgan, in addition to River Scott, who's probably the most similar to him. 
They are different models though, so we don't have to balk, you know, we don't have to get too upset. This one does have a blown engine, which is pretty cool. It is a separate piece sticking out of the main body there, which is pretty nice. I do like his expression. Just kind of like a calm, collected smirk. He's got nice teal rims there. He does have this exhaust pipe that juts out, which is identical to Floyd's, Caleb's, and Duke's, which I think is probably the most disappointing part. I mean, he has it on both sides there. So that's probably the most upsetting part. He is actually probably more similar to Duke than River Sky. I probably misspoke there. But at least he doesn't have the side view mirror. That's a plus. He doesn't have the headlights. That's a plus. No grill. That's a plus. He's got a cool design here, just kind of like the motion blur almost pattern that probably represents him speeding through the salt flats. Looks pretty good. He's got the number 115 there and some sort of code J12071. Maybe he has to be registered to race at the salt flats and that is what that number is for because it reminds me of all those like random code numbers that the planes characters would have on their bodies. But obviously like a typical, you know, Light McQueen or Miles Mitrock Malone, they're not going to have numbers like that. They're going to have like the codes on the bottom that Mattel puts on there, but this is something that you'll actually see him bear in the show. So yeah, 115, 115 on the roof. Same decals on the side here. And on the back, you have 115 MCL. I can't wait to find out what that stands for. It seems to be pretty prominent seeing as it's painted here right below his number. Not his initials. Maybe, I don't know, the name of their group? The name of who he races for? I don't know. Interesting to find out that. But yeah, again, some more similarities with this model. You know, you have the bolted trunk here. Bolt, 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 bolt. And that double splitted window. Splitted window. License plate holder down there. I'm sure he will have a license plate on the diecast version, but this one does not. Now, the tires are different, though, as you can see. But yeah, very similar to Duke Coulter's here. Floyd Morgan and Caleb Worley. River Scott actually is much more different than I thought he would be from Revo. But they all, you know, still have that bolted trunk with the double splitted window. All right, so yeah, that is Revo for you guys. I hope he has a solid part in the show. Hopefully he speaks a little bit. Here we have Dats Jammin. Dats Jammin, such a odd name to say, but I think it works. Now what doesn't work for me is the super lame font that, this is on Disney and Pixar, that they gave him for the numbers here. You know, just 08, 08, 08. So pretty lame graphics all around. And that font, like that's like the one of the top 10 fonts, one of the top 10 most used fonts on Microsoft Word. That's what you're looking at right there. That's the font that, you know, an intern is going to try and use to spruce up a presentation he gives at the end of his summer. You know, like, ugh, gross, don't like that. Yeah, just being honest with you, I think that's a pretty boring font. I mean... You, know, you look at this, like that's legit, you know, that's original. Like a lot of the stuff they do on, I mean, the Piston Cup Racers, those are all original fonts, right? For the most part. So pretty disappointed with this one. You could definitely find this one on Microsoft Word. Like it kind of strikes me as like DIN condensed, D-I-N condensed, which is one I use a lot. <laughs> but I'm not Pixar, right? I don't have access to <laughs> so many artists at my disposal. But anyways... Looking on the bright side, he's got a very curved model here, very sleek, very flat. I mean, he's probably one of the shortest cars. One of the shortest yet also has a pretty good length. Actually, this would be the smallest, so the height, lacking in height, but he's got some good length. Now his fenders are closed here. The wheels up here are Closer together. You can't see what kind of rims he has or anything like that, but they're probably just pretty boring black ones. All color changers are held together with screws because they're all plastic. 
Not a big fan that they use stickers here. I mean, obviously they've been doing that for the eyes, but they also did it for his 08s because they actually printed all these ones on. Like that's a print, that's print, 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 print. So disappointing about that. Maybe Mattel agrees with me that these are pretty lame decals, like the font's super bad. And they're like, yeah, so if those like wash off or if they get nasty, we don't care because we don't like them anyways. Now his eyes are kind of weird as well just because of how like <laughs> far back they extend, which also gets me a little worried because of how fine that tip is. I feel like it could peel off rather easily. We'll see though how it works in practice, but overall it's a really nice model. He's got a red parachute here in the back and some other interesting features like exhaust pipes, probably a license plate holder there. I don't know what these side things are, probably vents to help with circulation and all that, but that's like a separate part. That's like attached to the base here where everything else is the body. But yeah, my like main thought on this guy is that I think the diecast version will be way, way better. Way, way better. Whereas with Revo, I think the disparity between the diecast and the color changer, it's gonna be like, eh, it's gonna be like right there. Whereas these ones, it's gonna be like right there, you know, but no. <laughs> You guys know what I'm saying. I'm just disappointed in the 08. I just think the Zamac finish that they kind of give him will make up for it though. All right, got the jugs. The amount of times I filled these jugs over the last couple weeks here reviewing color changers is a little bit preternatural. I mean, I'm like filling this stuff up and my mom's like, what are you doing, you know? And I'm just like, I'm reviewing color changers, man. What do you think I'm doing, right? So yeah. Now I've learned, you can see we have a towel here. I don't know why it took me so long to do this, but we've moved on from the paper towel phase, which just wasn't working. It was making it all too wet and it would not behoove me to get the wood wet. Like I put like three layers of paper towels. Yeah, they're not doing it. Should have known better, you know, only go to the right name, but now I have tiles here. Hopefully this works better. We don't want to get the wood wet. Let's put Revo into the ice here. Actually, let's check what color. Yeah, so putting him into the icy water will make him purplish pink. Let's see how close the color is to what the card back shows. And yeah, I think, <laughs> think it's going to be pretty close. Yeah, maybe a little bit darker than the card back, but this still looks pretty gosh darn good. So you can see that the light blue part of him changed, whereas this front part stayed pretty much the same. But I do think it looks solid. This front part looks good with both colors. Like now it looks purple, more purple than it did blue. And the teal wheels still look good as well. Let's change them back. And see now this looks more indigo blue than it does when he's purple. So that's awesome. Let's do a little half and half here. Let's get him all the way teal, half and half. All right, now that's pretty cool. That looks really good. Oh man, I like that a lot. He should have gone with that for his actual design. All right, Dats, what color? Oh, I think, yeah, if we put you in the cold water, you will also turn, oh wow, that was a nice color change right there. This is a high functioning color changer for sure because we have a pure, pure blue, pure, 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 except for that fender there, which I will correct, get cold, man. Have a cold one. All right, yeah, so he looks great. I love when the color changers change like that, you know, and it looks just like a pure natural color, whereas when we did McQueen here, like that's not red, right? Like it's supposed to be, that's like a kind of nasty, it's like a plum, like kind of like a spoiled rotten plum maybe. I don't really know. The blue looks good, but this was supposed to be red. It's clearly not red. This was clearly supposed to be blue, and it clearly is blue. So I'm a big fan of that. Have to give Mattel props for that despite, you know, well, I guess it's not their fault that the 08 is a terrible font. I'm telling you, it's got to be top 10 most used on Microsoft Word. I am not joking around with that. Or Pages, if you use Pages. But yeah, Microsoft Word is more notable. All right, so yeah, we only have two color changers to review. I was thinking about putting the Sally and Fabulous Hudson Hornet color changers in this video as well. 
But I really wanted to make this video focused on these new characters and once I realized how much there is to talk about them, you know, from those labels to where they might factor into the story, which I really haven't spoke about much, it was, you know, bound to be a long video anyways. I feel like almost every video I've released over the last month has been over half an hour, which is ridiculous, but they've all been doing pretty well, so I have to thank you for your support and for, you know, I hope you guys are enjoying the long video, so thanks for sticking around. As for how they appear in Cars on the Road, they probably will be one off for an episode. I think that they're just some of the more unique models in the show. They probably selected like, all right, these are your most unique Bigfoot hunters. You got your circus ones. You got the Haunted Mansion or whatever. You got your soft flats and, you know, just release these. But there will probably be more from all those themes down the road we get. These just are probably the most prominent. They probably have a couple speaking lines. I wouldn't expect a lot out of them excuse me i'm yawning kind of burping a little bit too yeah so hopefully they aren't just mute like all the world grand prix racers were which i was super disappointed about you know because the same thought process went into that like oh they're releasing color of veloso like right away oh they're releasing rouse and rule right away and it's like yeah i can't wait to see all these racers interact and it's like <laughs> At least the video game exists and they speak in that, right? All right, guys. Yeah, thank you for watching this video. We can't go a Color Changers review without... Well, I'm going to sneeze here in a second, so... <coughs> yeah, not going to cut that out. But yeah, we can't go a Color Changer review without a little spray action. Now, Sarah Coggs is from the Salt Flats, so this actually could happen in the show. Yeah, I mean, I mean, you can't go wrong with that. I love how these sprayers work. Having way too much fun here. Way, way too much fun. <laughs> all right, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is what we're going to do here. We're going to make all that purple on Riva go away. Just absolutely straight shot to his left eye. Straight shot to his left eye, yeah. Sniping here, CSGO, got the GS, what's it called? Uh, the SG350 maybe? Oh, I missed. Oh man, he didn't pick up much water there. Come on, Sarah. Sarah? You know what, Sarah? Screw you. You're retired. We got to get the trusty Guido in here. Guido will finish the job. Uh... <laughs> Uh, Guido, don't let me down. Yeah, Guido. Yeah, that boy. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Lots of mayhem. Lots of fun. Side note, I actually dropped the Dynaco Mia as I was about to review. I was like, here's what I need. You know, always go grab Dynaco Mia and the regular Mia to symbolize cold and warm and all that. And then I just absolutely dropped her on the hardwood floor unscathed strong strong car right there that's how they made him back in 2008 strong and durable thank you guys for watching i'll see you soon 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 for my review of none other than revni griante aka Vern son thank you guys again for all the support just having way too much fun doing these videos but i guess there is no such thing as way too much fun bye now